it was a great like performance by these three. They're all running seven thirty nine. You know, yeah. whoever wins, it's like whatever. It's it's fine. But like a week ago or earlier that weekend, we had a seven twenty six three k, right? Yeah, thirteen full seconds. Yeah. yeah. Do you think any of these guys have an ability to be in it at the World Indoor Championship level? Like, it's one thing to uh, to do it against fellow U.S. based training partners. The training com- yeah. competitors, but then you look yeah. in Germany, and we had someone just solo a seven twenty six. So yeah, first of all, what do you think? So what do you think of the seven twenty six? And then what do you think about how it connects to what these guys did at Millers? Well, Aragawi's an, an up and comer, and he's someone to watch for sure. And that's the number five time all time. And when you watch that end of the race, he he didn't have a ton of help. It goes out in sixteen hundred under four minutes. Really, he really went for it. Um, people are taking shots at this record, this world record in the 3K, which is crazy because it seems like it's one of those that was a bit too far out there. But you could also you turn your question around is, are people like Aragawi going to run like that at World Indoors? Are they going to go out and run 30 second, sub 30 second, 200 pace by themselves out there? You know, perhaps. Perhaps they will, but I think it's going to bunch up a little bit. They're going to take their foot off the gas a little bit, and then that opens things up for the caliber of runner that we saw at, at Milrose. But I wasn't surprised by Aragawi's time because last year we saw fast indoor 3K performances, people taking a shot at that record, um, which I thought was going to be a little bit too far out there, but apparently it's not. So number five all time, I think um, – I think it's open season on that record. And it could be a situation where Aragawi, his priority this year is just running the record, like racing for the record, and it's not even world indoors. So they have to factor that in too. Yeah, I mean, it's just that 25.2, 25-second se- close is world class. And you wonder, is Beamish going to be able yeah. to be near that area or like, are we going to have a 739 type race at World Indoors? Or is Jakob Ingebrigtsen going to make it a, a 7, yeah, yeah. like 32 race? And then all of a sudden, running 25 seconds is going to be kind of, yeah. kind of hard to do. 100%. 100%. I agree. I mean, it's just going to, it's going to be faster than I think we could count on a, an outdoor race because indoor races at championships, people put position at a premium. So then they go and they, they're more eager to get out in front and and spread things out a little bit but i don't i mean i don't think they're going to be going 730 sub 730 at the at the world indoor championships with rounds and everything i don't yeah maybe though if you and your country fellow countrymen countrywoman qualify then you are going to want to push the pace we haven't had a world indoors in four years since the you know super shoe thing started so that could be part of it too. People, we just saw people push it way earlier last year, last couple of years. Um, Tom mentioned on the chat, Windy City Invite is where they're doing the mile record attempts in Chicago. Mm. The Wisconsin meet. That's in two weeks. Let's go. 